It's time for English on the go, which means we're going to look at Ben's full clip where he talks to us for hours about football. Okay, not for hours. It's probably only a couple of minutes, but we know that he could spend hours talking about football. Let's find out more information. Let's watch. Just one eight, nature. Are you ready? Go. A lot of the time when I'm meeting up with my friends, after work, just for a few drinks or perhaps some dinner. Generally, we'll have the same kind of conversations. We're just there to catch up, see what's new in each other's lives. So it might be about relationships or our current jobs. Perhaps we might even dab into a little bit of politics. But if there's one topic of conversation that I could probably ramble on about for hours and hours, that would have to be football. And I think especially having grown up in the UK, I think everyone seems to have their own club that they support. And each club is very different. They have their own roots and cultures and traditions. And each fan is very passionate about their own clubs. And I'm sure many of you have also felt that passion when watching the international teams kicking each ball with them, feeling their pain. 네, 핵심 어휘를 보고 공부 이어가 보겠습니다. 첫 번째로 만나다, 모이다, meet up 이라는 표현 쓰였고요. 그 다음, 그동안의 소식을 나누다, catch up. 그동안 이제 오래, 오랜만에 만난 사람들이 어떻게 지냈는지 서로에 대한 이야기를 들었을 때 그것을 catch up 이라고 하죠. 그 다음, 현재의 current 나왔는데요. 발음 연습해 볼게요. The first one we're going to start out with is Meet up. Meet up. Together. Meet up. Great. The next one. Catch up. Catch up. Catch up. <laughs> the last one is current. 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 Great. Let's have a look at some more vocab words. 그 다음으로 만지다, 토닥거리다를 뜻하는 dab 나왔고요. 그 다음 거닐다. 돌아다니는 것을 말할 수도 있는데 이야기를 가지고 이야기, 주제에 대해서 거닌다라는 것은 오랫동안 횡설수설하다라는 뜻이 됩니다. 바로 ramble이에요. ramble. 그 다음 마지막으로 지지하다, 응원하다를 뜻하는 support도 나왔습니다. 발음 연습해 볼게요. This one is very short. It's dab, 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 ramble, ramble, ramble. Support, support, support. Perfect. How about we take a look at his clip again, but with English subtitles. A lot of the time when I'm meeting up with my friends after work, just for a few drinks or perhaps some dinner, generally we'll have the same kind of conversations. We're just there to catch up, see what's new in each other's lives. So it might be about relationships, or our current jobs. Perhaps we might even dab into a little bit of politics. But if there's one topic of conversation that I could probably ramble on about for hours and hours, that would have to be football. And I think especially having grown up in the UK, I think everyone seems to have their own club that they support. And each club is very different. They have their own roots and cultures and traditions. And each fan is very passionate about their own clubs. And I'm sure many of you have also felt that passion when watching the international teams, kicking each ball with them, feeling their pain. Well, he could be there very early. Okay. And maybe he doesn't live in a crowded area. So maybe there are never really many people at once. I know he lives in London, so that's oh. why I was wondering about that. Anyway, mm. 굉장히 okay. 뒤에 경치 좋았어요. 이야기 속으로 들어가서 첫 번째 부분부터 들으면서 공부를 시작해 볼까요? Sounds great. Let's look at what he said line by line. A lot of the time when I'm meeting up with my friends after work, just for a few drinks or perhaps some dinner, Generally, we'll have the same kind of conversations. We're just there to catch up, 
see what's new in each other's lives. A lot of the time when I'm meeting up with my friends after work, just for a few drinks or perhaps some dinner. 문장 앞부분에 나오는 a lot of the time이라는 건 뭐뭐 할 때가 많다는 이야기인데요. 뭐뭐 할 때가 많다. 무엇이 많이 일어나는 일인지는 그 뒤에 나옵니다. Yes. 그래서 when I'm meeting up, 만나다 다시 한번. Meet up. 네. Meet up. 그냥 I am meeting someone 이렇게 meet I'm meeting Megan later 이렇게 말할 때도 되게 어, 말하는 것도 yeah. 괜찮지만 I'm meeting up, up with, with Megan. Megan. 약속을 해서 어떤 장소에서 모일 때 yeah. 많이 쓰는 말이에요. Yeah, because you're meeting up somewhere, right? 음. Meet가 이제 굳이 여기서 when I'm meeting my friends라고 하지 않는 이유는 그렇게 해도 틀린 건 아닌데 yeah. meet에 여러 가지 다른 뜻들이 있잖아요. Oh. True. 뭐 누군가를 처음으로 만났을 때 어, 만나서 반갑습니다. Nice right. to meet you. 그 be, 느낌도 있고요. Could be meeting for the first time or maybe you're not actually spending time with them. You're just kind of meeting them and going. 음, But 그냥, I feel like when you say meet up, you're 음, doing something together for 맞아요. a long time. Right? 그냥 잠깐 만나서 인사만 하고 헤어질 수도 있는데 meet up with someone이라고 하면 약속 잡은 거고요. Yeah. 같이 시간을 좀 보내는 느낌이 있어서 mm-hmm. 네, 친구들하고 어울릴 때더 많이 쓰는 말인 것 같아요. Mm-hmm. 친구들하고 만나는데 언제? After work. 퇴근 후에 만나는 거예요. Mm-hmm. Just for a few drinks or perhaps some, some dinner. dinner. 한잔 하거나 아니면 저녁 식사를 같이 위, 하기 위해서 만났을 때 a lot of the time, 뭐뭐 할 때가 많다는 말이고요. Yes. 뭐가 so, 많은지는? Yes, so what do they do? Mm-hmm. He says, generally, we'll have the same kind of conversations. 네, 그래서 그 앞부분에 보여드렸던 a lot of the time 하고 이 generally가 같은 뜻이에요. Mm-hmm. Generally, we'll have the same kind of conversations. conversations. 대체로 똑같은 종류의 대화들을 나눌 겁니다. Mm-hmm. 나누곤 합니다. Perfect. Next, he says, We're just there to catch up, see what's new in each other's lives. We're just there. 우리는 그곳에 그냥 있어요. 라는 말은 그냥 그 모임에 나가서 mm-hmm. 뭐 하기 위해 나가냐면 to catch up. Mm-hmm. To catch up. Catch up. 그동안의 소식을 나누다. 몰랐던 것들에 대해서 서로 알려주다. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a while, so maybe you don't know what's happened in my life. 네, 많이 일상 회화 표현으로도 쓰이는데 만약에 매년 선생님하고 저하고는 자주 만나는 편이지만 right. 한 3개월 동안 못 봤어요. 그러면 oh. Hey, let's meet and catch, catch up. up. Yeah. Let's meet up and catch up. Yeah, let's meet up and catch up. I haven't seen you in a while. 네. How are your children? How's 그렇죠. your wife? How's work? I don't know. Yeah, 사실은 meet up 부분도 필요가 없어요. 그냥 전화해서 let's catch up 하면 거의 이제 만나자는 이야기예요. Of course, you 네. have to meet up to catch up. 네. Usually. 매일 만나는 사이에서 이걸 쓰면 또 어색할 수 있겠고요. 어제 봤는데 yeah. let's catch up 하면 어, huh? 이상하다. I just saw you. Do don't you, you know everything yeah, already? Do you not remember meeting me yesterday? Right. 네. 그래서 catch up 하고 또 뭐를 어, 하기 위해 만나냐면 see what's new in each other's lives. lives. 각자의 생활에서 어떤 새로운 소식이 있는지 알기 위해서 만나는 거예요. Mm-hmm. Let's take a look at the next part. So it might be about relationships or our current jobs. Perhaps we might even dab into a little bit of politics. But if there's one topic of conversation that I could probably ramble on about for hours and hours, that would have to be football. So while they're catching up, what do they talk about? So it might be about relationships or our current jobs. 네, catch up 하는데 무엇에 대해서? It might be about our uh, about relationships. Mm-hmm. Relationship이라는 것은 관계지만 yeah. 그냥 I am in a relationship 하면 거의 그 romantic relationship. Yes. It's a romantic dating relationship, 네. right? 연인 관계를 말합니다. 그래서 mm-hmm. 연애에 대한 이야기이거나 or our current, current jobs. jobs. 네. Current. 현재의 Mm-hmm. 지금 하고 있는 일에 대한 또는 현재 직업에 대한 대화일 수도 있습니다. Mm-hmm. What else do they talk about when they meet up to catch up? Perhaps we might even dab into a little bit of politics. A little bit of politics라고 하면 약간의 정치 또는 약간의 정치 이야기인데요. Mm-hmm. 여기서 만지, 만지다 또는 토닥거리다. Dab. 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 Right? Dab과 이제 dab into가 함께 쓰여서 dab into 하면 그런 이야기를 살짝 하는 거예요. Yeah. But just shortly, maybe yeah. a couple minutes, and then they switch back to relationships or something. Maybe up to 10, 20 minutes, yeah. and then you'd spend three more hours talking about relationships. Right. It's not the major topic that you have. Right, it's just a side conversation. 네. Right. 그냥 그 
부가적인 주제지 사실은 주요 주제는 아닙니다. 랩이라고 하면 은 그래서 어쩌면 정치 이야기를 조금 할 수도 있어요. Mm -hmm. 그리고 So they talk about all these things. But if there's one topic of conversation that I could probably ramble on about for hours and hours. 그런데 if there's one topic of conversation, 대화 주제가 하나 있다면 that I could probably ramble on about for hours and hours. Yes. 네. for hours and hours라고 하면은 몇 시간이고란 뜻이고요. Mm -hmm. 오랫동안 횡설수설하다 거닐다 ramble ramble 사실 ramble이라는 거를 거닐다 when you walk, when you are walking around oh, yeah. do you say ramble as often as you actually use it with the meaning of to talk no we use it 아니죠? we use it a lot more for talking mm -hmm. like someone just keeps talking about a lot of stuff 그렇죠. just keeps going and going okay I understand. <웃음> ramble이 또 언제 쓰이냐면요. 우리말에 딱 횡설수설처럼 어떤 주제가 있는데 다른 이야기로 빠져서 어, 별로 필요 없는 이야기를 막 하다가 어, oh, I'm rambling. 지금 어, 다른 이야기로 너무 샜네요. 횡설수설하고 있네요. 다시 let's get back to, let me go back to the original, the original topic. topic. 이렇게 이야기할 때 많이 씁니다. Mm -hmm. 그래서 몇 시간이고 이야, 이야기할 수 있는 주제가 있다면 바로 그것은 무엇이죠? That's right. We already know, but that would have to be football. 네. Football. 발음을 하나만 비교를 하자면 우리가 이제 미국식 발음으로 하자면 football 이고요. 벤치는 영국 발음으로 football. ball. ball. ball과 football. ball. football. 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 오케이. Okay. 미국식 <웃음> football. 그리고 ball. ball. 네, 이런 차이가 있었어요. 그리고 참고로 미국 분들에게 football 하면은 거의 다 미식 축구를 이야기하죠. Yeah, we're thinking about American football, you know, with the ball that you throw with your hands. And you say soccer, soccer for, for 축구. football. 축구. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But that's literally only in America, so I think we should adopt that. I mean. Yeah. It's okay to say football when you are talking about 축구 or soccer. Yes, perfect. Let's look at the next part. And I think especially having grown up in the UK, I think everyone seems to have their own club that they support. And each club is very different. And I think especially having grown up in the UK. 그리고 특히 저는 영국에서 자랐기 때문에 라는 mm -hmm. 뜻이고요. Well, that was short. I think everyone seems to have their own club that they support. 모두가 자신이 응원하는 클럽이 있는 것 같아요. 지지하다, 응원하다, 후원하다. Support, 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 mm -hmm. support. 고객 관리 같은 거를 또 customer support라고 oh, yeah. 하기도 해요. Customer support. 고객 지원 서비스. They're helping the customers. Yes, mm -hmm. helping someone or rooting for someone. 응원하는 거다 mm -hmm. support라고 합니다. Mm -hmm. 그리고 그 다음 문장. And each club is very different. 그리고 클럽들은 서로 아주 달라요. 여기서 말하는 거는 클럽 결국 팀이죠. Yeah, about the team. 축구 팀. Yeah. Okay. 다음 Perfect. 부분 마지막 부분입니다. Mm -hmm. They have their own roots and cultures and traditions. And each fan is very passionate about their own clubs. And I'm sure many of you have also felt that passion when watching the international teams, kicking each ball with them, feeling their pain. They have their own roots and cultures and traditions. 뿌리, 근원. Root. 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 인데 여러 팀이 있으니까 roots. Mm -hmm. 아니면 한 팀이라고 하더라도 roots라고 할수 있어요. Yeah, because usually one plant could have many roots. There are many things that 네. we used to do, right? 뿌리라고 했을 때 근원, 뭐 뿌리를 찾아간다, 근원을 찾아간다 mm -hmm. 라고 할 때에도 그냥 하나의 팀, 하나의 사람, 한 명이라고 하더라도 roots, 복수형으로도 많이 쓰고요. Mm -hmm. uh, they have their own roots and cultures and traditions. 각자, 각자 팀이, 클럽이 자신만의 뿌리와 문화와 전통이 있습니다. 그리고 and each fan is very passionate about their own clubs. 팬들은 팬들마다 자신의 클럽에 대해서 아주 열정적이에요. 각자 응원하는 팀이 있겠죠. And I'm sure many of you have also felt that passion when watching the international teams. 특히 월드컵 할때 yes. 여러분들도 국제 팀들의 경기를 보면서 international teams 또는 international matches 그런 mm -hmm. 의미로 썼을 수도 있겠고요. 그런 열정을 느껴 보셨을 거라고 생각해요. I'm sure 확실하게 생각합니다. Mm -hmm. Many of you have also felt that, that passion. passion 그런 열정 느껴 보셨을 거라고 생각합니다. Mm -hmm. 그런데 어떻게 하면서 <웃음> kicking each ball with them, feeling their pain. 네, 실제로 
국제 팀들의 경기를 보면서 공을 같이 찰 수는 없잖아요. Right. 마음 속으로 그려본다는 yeah. 이야기예요. Just in your mind and your heart, you're like, oh, kick that. Yeah, you 네, feel everything. 차, 패스해, 이렇게 As if it's you, yeah. right? 마, 마치 자기 자신이 된 것처럼 그래서 kicking each ball with them, with the players, mm -hmm. feeling their pain. Mm -hmm. 마음 속으로 선수들과 함께 공을 차고 그들의 고통을 느끼면서 그 열정을 느껴봤던 적이 있을 겁니다. 그런데 mm -hmm. 영국 사람들은 또 영국에서 자랐기 때문에 축구에 대해서 이렇게 열정을 갖고 있다라는 그런 이야기였습니다. Mm, perfect. I hope you learned a lot from him. Let's review and take a look at it one more time. A lot of the time when I'm meeting up with my friends after work, just for a few drinks or perhaps some dinner, generally we'll have the same kind of conversations. We're just there to catch up, see what's new in each other's lives. So it might be about relationships or our current jobs. Perhaps we might even dab into a little bit of politics. But if there's one topic of conversation that I could probably ramble on about for hours and hours, that would have to be football. And I think especially having grown up in the UK, I think everyone seems to have their own club that they support. And each club is very different. They have their own roots and cultures and traditions. And each fan is very passionate about their own clubs. And I'm sure many of you have also felt that passion when watching the international teams, kicking each ball with them, feeling their pain.